So what is going on with the housing market in the United States? Well, we're going to deep dive into this subject for February 2023. Go check it out. Hi there, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants. I am a UK tax specialist as well as a US tax specialist focusing on real estate property. And I have to look at the US market in terms of seeing what is happening in February 2023. And some interesting uh, kind of metrics that I picked up from Redfin this time around. I used to use Fred, but uh, this I think is more compelling and a lot more visually stimulating. So the blue line is 2023. And you can see there that the median hat sale price of a property in this month of, as you can see there, the, the February time frame, that we're looking around our $347,000. Now $347,000 is still higher than it has been in previous years. That black line is last year the orange line the year before and red line the year before. So house prices have gone up quite a lot in recent years. Of course, we know that. But if we look at house prices, yes, they're going down. But is that a seasonal trend? Because if I look at these this black line, it is very similar to the red line. And that is something that we should always make comparisons to. Is it the time of year? Is there a change of house pricing? I think the question will be house prices we all believe will go down because of uh, various circumstances and we'll go into those right away. But what do you think and what are you seeing house prices doing in your area? I'm particularly interested in people that are from California or in Florida to give me your views. But of course, any other states, please do uh, provide some insights to this national average. Um, if we look at houses sold though, uh, this is a very interesting um, perspective because we need to have a look at how many houses have sold. What's the supply and demand? Supply and demand will affect the house prices. If there's a lot of supply, not much demand, then house prices will go down. So in this graph, we're seeing that house number of houses sold have drastically fallen away this year, 2023. 31% decline from a prior year. Um, and a year before that, even worse of a number, of, of, of kind of two years ago, sorry, that orange line. So ha the volumes have gone down. By the way, if you do need some US, UK tax advice, then please feel free to use the QR code and the uh, video is also got a description with the URL to book some time in with me as well. Um, where do we think we're expecting to see? And this is from tradingeconomics.com, very useful website for anyone wanting to do some research. Uh, I use it a lot. This is suggesting that the house prices and house volumes will go up over time. So they're already predicting that July 2023 and January 2024, we will see, start to see a pickup of uh, house sales. And I've seen that quoted along many different publications as well in the United States. So US real estate property, will it go up in terms of volume? Yes, what will that do for house prices? That will be telling because again, if there's a lot more demand out there, then that inevitably will push up house prices, which would be quite strange given what the Fed is trying to do, uh, the Fed, sorry, in terms of the uh, interest rates. What I want to talk about now is mortgage interest rates and how this will affect um, the interest rates is 6.62% according to the Bankers Association of America. Now that 6.62 percentage is really high. Why would you give up a mortgage on a property that you already own and then exchange that mortgage for a percentage rate that we're seeing on the screen? You just wouldn't. So this could affect people wanting to buy property for a long time until this interest rates goes down. So it's not the case of supply and demand and therefore house prices are gonna come down. Actually, people are not going to want to change their housing, uh, their current mortgage for another more expensive mortgage on a new property. Tell me about your situation. If you are looking to buy property, are you put off because of your current mortgage is so much more cheaper than what you're being asked to pay? For cash buyers, it obviously won't affect, 
but most people that I know are looking for property will be looking for finance options. And um, the other side to this is uh, what the, the the government in the US, the Fed, the, all of the, the 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 people that have influence over the financial affairs in the country is CPI. Now, the CPI target of two percent is what we're what they're, they're looking for. And interest rates are going to be pushed up until that CPI has brought to another level. But we're seeing rates of 6.4% in terms of inflation. So therefore, the 2% target is being missed con quite considerably. So what will happen? Well, you could say, well, we're going to have to put the, the interest rates up again. But if we look at things like, if in my view, if, if you look at inflation, you're normally thinking about, well, stuff that people buy for as luxury items, that is something that you could try and influence. But when you're looking at things like food, in, inflation of 10%, uh, you have energy, which is 8%, you know, those kind of things. Well, people aren't going to, if you are putting up interest rates, are you really going to affect what people eat and consume in terms of electricity? I'm not sure how you can influence that. And if energy suppliers and food, uh, agricultural um, farmers and imports of food is more expensive, then that's not something that is uh, at the fault of the individual. That's more to do with the macroeconomics. So putting in interest rates up, it could really affect uh, what people can eat and supply into the, their home and poverty could start to become a norm if we're not careful. Again, do tell me what you think in terms of house prices in the United States and how that's going to be affected and what you're seeing in the marketplace. And do you agree with pushing up interest rates even higher to try and control this CPI? I'll be uh, happy to, to read your comments and insights. Uh, the, uh, just a final uh, graph actually is the consumer price index target. You can see that the work that they, they've been doing in the Fed, pushing up at the interest rates has indeed uh, lowered the CPI from 9.1%. It's now down to 6.4%, but it's got a long way to go. It's only managed to do less than 3%, but it's got another 4.4% to get on target, which is a way more. Where could interest rates really go in the future? Again, please tell me your thoughts about interest rates, where it could get to 10%, not hardly likely, but I'd be interested to read what you think as well. So please do share your comments and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.